Initial assembly of the machine. Before performing work, read the operation and maintenance manual for operation details. Also, perform this operation on flat hard ground. Installation of boom base. Place the boom base on the ground. Support the one side backstop with the assist crane and remove the securing pin. Lift the backstop to work position. Raise the backstop support and secure the backstop. Detach the slings. In the same way, set the position to work position of opposite side backstop. The guide roller and guide sheave position is differed when the crane and luffing configurations. Set the proper position as an attachment configuration. Prior to work, check if the machine is placed on the firm and level ground. Do not enter under or inside of the crane mast. Do not return the mast assist arms to storage position until the crane mast is connected to the boom with the guy lines. Mast may fall backwards if it is raised to vertical position when assist arms are at stowed position. Start and run the engine at approximately 1000 per minute. Turn the auxiliary actuator select switch toward the on side. Install the guy lines on the mast tip and connect sling ropes and shackle on it. Raise the mass approximately 50 degrees. Travel the base machine to make the distance between the car body weight and the boom foot becomes approximately 550 millimeters. Install the sling rope to the boom base with the shackle. Make sure that the loads are applied uniformly so that the guy line link is not inclined. Apply grease to boom foot hole. Lift up the boom base by the raising mast and travel the machine forward slowly. Do not stand on or enter under inside of the attachment being assembling disassembling. Adjust the position of boom base not to hit the car body weight by raising and lowering the mast. Align between the boom foot pins with the holes surely. Remove the lock pin for the boom foot pin.
Manipulate the boom foot pin cylinder control levers toward the insert side to insert the boom foot pins. Insert the lock pins. Insert the shims to the boom foot. Disconnect and store the mask cable after stop the engine. Engine should be stopped when harness connect in or disconnect. Connect the cables of the boom base to the base machine junction panel. Installation of the mast Installation procedure of the mast to upper machinery Support the mast to assist arms with a wood blocking Remove the securing pins of the mast to assist arms Attach the roller to the mast. Install the shackle to the bracket at the tip of the mast. Do not apply slings directly to a sharp edge part to prevent the slings from cutting. Apply the sling to the guy cable pinhole or bracket for lifting through a shackle. Do not use the damaged shackle, lifting gears and the hook without safety latch. Lift the mast and align the pinholes at mast foot. Do not stand or work under, inside or on the boom structure to prevent accident due to sudden fall of the attachment. Insert the mast securing pins. The bushing in the foot of mast has special coating. Insert a pin after the pinhole is aligned properly, and do not hit the pin hard. Remove the wood blocking which supported the mast assist arms. Slowly incline the mast toward the back of the machine, and completely lay it on the machine. Connect the mast cable. Reaving of the boom hoist wire rope Prepare reaving wire rope Reave the reaving wire rope between the gantry sheaves and mast sheaves, as shown referring with following figure.
fix the reeving wire rope end to the boom drum on left side. Join the boom hoist wire rope to the reeving wire rope end. Reeve the boom hoist wire rope by boom drum hoist operation. Pay out the boom hoist wire rope from the reel until it can be connected to the boom drum and disconnect the reeving wire rope. Secure the boom hoist wire rope end to the left side of the boom drum with a wedge. In order to avoid serious accident caused by disconnection of wire rope from the drum, ensure that the wedge is securely placed. Turn the UX actuator select switch toward the off side. Connect the remote control switch box to the upper machinery side. Install the shackle to the bracket at the tip of the mast. Do not apply slings directly to a sharp edge part to prevent the slings from cutting. Apply the sling to the guy cable pinhole or bracket for lifting through a shackle. Do not use the damaged shackle, lifting gears and the hook without safety latch. Start the engine with the Remocon switch box and set the engine speed to approximately 800 per minute. Raise the gantry to the work position by operating both right and left gantry control switch simultaneously. Do not stand or work under, inside or on the boom structure to prevent accident due to sudden fall of the attachment. Insert the securing pins into the gantry links. Manipulate the mast control switch and raise the mast. Do not move the crane mast quickly. Otherwise, the wire rope drum is rotated at a high speed, causing extreme dangers. Keep the appropriate slack on the sling rope of an assist crane at this stage, and raising the mast is to be used only the mast assist arm. Do not lift the mast by the assist crane. Extend the mast assist arm cylinders fully. When the crane mast becomes upright, support it with the assist crane. Slowly lower the mast with the assist crane frontward. Do not enter under or inside of the crane mast. Do not return the mast assist arms to storage position until the crane mast is connected to the boom with the guy lines. Mast may fall backwards if it is raised to vertical position when assist arms are at stowed position. When the length of the wire rope remaining on the wire rope reel is approximately 6 meters, stop lowering the mast. Put the mast on ground completely with mast stand. Lowering the mast without use of mast stand, the mast will be lowered suddenly. Remove the boom hoist wire rope end from the reel and secure the rope end to the right side of the boom drum with a wedge. Remove the locking bar on the mast stand.
raise up the mast by boom drum hoist operation. Do not enter under or inside of the mast. Press the inching icon before the mast tips the mast arm. Press the C to Sassy icon when the mast angle stops automatically at about 80 degrees. Stop the raising of mast operation when the mast is touching to gantry. To avoid any damages on boom hoist drum and boom hoist wire rope during the gantry raising lowering, ensure to loosen the boom hoist wire rope. Retract the mast assist arm fully using by Remo Con switch box. Check if the gantry is surely supported with the gantry cylinder. Remove the gantry securing pin. Lower the gantry by operating both right and left gantry control switch together. Do not enter under or inside of the gantry, or mast. 